hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to sew tuba cap for auto guinea so with my material here this is the material i'm going to use this is my material so i'm going to take the measurements from this point here down here is 29 inches 29 inches from this point here down here is 18 inches so what i'm going to do now is to hem this very place i'm going to hem with one and a half inch so i'm going to sew like this down so when I'm done sewing, I will show you what to do next. After sewing it with one and a half inch like this, I'm going to start to plate. I'm going to plate about two to three layers like this. Before you start to plate iron, I'm going to plate on top like this, then iron. After ironing, I will sew on top. I will fold again, that is plate again, I will iron. So I'm going to leave about 9 to 10 inches for the length. This fastening tape stripe, this is the one to sew. I have the one to iron on. I'm not going to use this, this one is to iron on. You just open remove this white paper on the back then iron on top i'm not going to use this one i'm going to use the one to sew on top so this fastening tape strap this is what i'm going to use two two types this one is to press this one down then yeah so this is what i'm going to sew on the back so I'm going to first sew plinth like this, then iron, sew about two to three lines, two to three plinth. Then after doing that, I will show you what to do next. Finish sewing the plinth. Here yeah, you won't, you can't see like this. So this is it. So the next thing to do now is to take the measurements again. I'm going to measure the, for the head is 23 inches. I'm going to use this 23 inches. So I'm going to leave allowance to sew this fastening on. So I'm using 23 inches measurement and i'm going to leave it 20 yeah 26 inches because i'm going to fold i'm going to trim this part off so this is the part that is going to be on the forehead so i'm going to measure the forehead here 23 inches i'm going to use this 23 inches so this part i'm going to fold it in like this to sew this on top i'm going to sew this on top here so what i'm going to do now is to sew round because it's a cap this 23 inches which is the right measurements so i'm going to mark from here i'm going to sew from here like this let me bring the pen so you can see so i measure 23 inches from here this is 23 inches from here to here is 23 inches divide by two will give me 11 and a half inches 
okay level and a half inches so from here down here is 11 and a half inches 23 23 divided by 2 is 11 and a half inches so i'm going to mark like this first of all after I finish with the plinth i fold into two like this then measure the length from here down here is 10 inches 10 inches which is enough so i'm going to start from here this point here I'm going to curve like this. So somewhere here. So from down here to up here is four and a half inches. From here, from here, down here, up here is four and a half inches. From here. This very place is where I'm going to sew this on. So I'm going to start the sewing from here up like this to this point. Okay, so let me go and sew and I will come back and show you how it looks like. I hope you can see where I sew. From here, I started from here up like this and curve. So I'm going to bring it out. So this place is open. I'm going to turn the right side out so it will not look this shape is the cap so what I'm going to do now is to iron this part I'm going to iron so when I'm done ironing I will sew this on top here like this also and the other one when i'm done sewing one part i will show you so i finished sewing one part i sew inside so this one i'm going to sew like this this one is going to this one i sew is going to relax on this one I'm going to place this on top like this I'm going to place the one I just finished sewing on top like this so what I'm going to do now is to sew this on, on top here so this one will now stay like this so I'm going to sew and show you the finished look so I finished sewing this one is sewed inside and this one is sewn outside so it's going to relax on top like this just like this so this is how to sew your sew back cap this is it guys very simple you take the your forehead where the cap is going to relax on you measure and uh, if you are 22 or 24, 23, you will give allowance so that when you sit this on top like this, it will over tight. So this is it. This is it. I have this one also. is satin I use satin for this gray satin and this one is velvet flowered velvet so this is it guys depends on how high you want it this one is little bit shorter you can see the difference about one to one and a half inch different yeah, this one still fits my head very perfectly perfectly this one fit my head perfectly and also with this one so after tying the gilly on top it will not relax so this is it guys if 
you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new please subscribe and there's a notification bell don't forget to click on it so you get all my videos whenever i upload new ones as always share this video leave your comments share to friends and families and thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next one bye